So for today, I will be discussing a particular topics in uh, spherical trigonometry. And this is, uh, what is a spherical triangle? The right spherical triangle. And the Napier's rule, which is the basis on deriving the form formula for solving the right spherical triangle. So suppose this a sphere. So, para malaman natin yung kung ano yung spherical triangle, we will draw three great circles uh, anywhere on the sphere. So, let us draw three great circles anywhere on the sphere. And then, kung mapapansin natin dito, nakabuo tayo ng triangle, which is this one. And this is the spherical triangle. So, ang definition ng spherical triangle is the yung naka-enclose siya sa three great circles, three great arcs mula sa three great circles. So, let's put some labels to know the properties of a spherical triangle. So, one of the property of the spherical triangle is, is that the sum of the interior angles is greater than 180 degrees but less than or equal to 540 degrees. And to compute for the surface area of the spherical triangle, we have this formula. A is equal to pi r squared times the quantity of A plus B plus C minus 180 degrees divided by 180 degrees where r is the radius of the sphere. So, kung magtatanong kayo kung paano ito na-derive, so I will be uh, creating another video to derive this formula. But for, for today, let's just give it as a reference. Now, dumako na tayo sa right spherical triangle. So, a right spherical triangle is a spherical triangle with a one interior angle equal to 90 degrees. So, again, let's put some labels. And, ang, ang, para mahanap yung mga formulas pag solve ng right spherical triangle, We'll be using the Napier's circle and the Napier's rule. And we apply natin yung Napier's rule para makabu tayo ng formula. So the Napier's circle, we will just uh, divide it into five parts. So as shown here. And kung magita nyo yung C, uh, nakafasya sa B, C, and then A. Itong tatlong to na naka face angle na to is gagawin natin siyang complement so ilalagay ko na siya dito so that is B complement and then the next one C complement the A complement and then the B and then sa Napier circle hindi na sinasama dito yung uh, right angle so diretso na yan sa uh, small letter A. And then, ang, com ang, B com ang A complement, C complement, B complement uh, is defined by this. So, pag sinabing complement, yung minus yung 90 degree sa mga angles. Now, we have the uh, Napier's rule. We have two. We have the sin cos of rule and the sin tan ad rule. For the sin uh, cos of rule, muna tayo, ibig sabihin yan, the, yung sign ng middle part na mapipili niya natin is equal to the product of the cosine ng opposite part ng napili nating middle part. So let's say um, pili tayo ng middle part sa uh, anywhere on the Napier circle, say the B. So, if we take B as the middle part, yung kanyang opposite part is the 
C complement and the B complement. So, yung nagpipaste sa kanya, yun, yun, yun lang naman yung opposite part. Therefore, applying the sin cos of pool, the sine of the middle part, which is the B, the sine of P, is equal to the product of the cosine of the opposite parts, which is the C complement and then the B complement, as shown here. So, kahit anong middle part yung piliin natin. So, let's try uh, ibang middle part yung napili natin. Say A. So, if you take A as the middle part, yung kanyang opposite part ay, uh, there you have it, A complement and the C complement. Now, applying yung sin cos of rule, once again, yung sine ng middle part, Yung napili nating middle part, so that is the sine A, is equal to the product of the cosine of the opposite parts. So, cosine C complement, cosine A complement. Now, let's, uh, dumako na tayo dun sa isa pang rule, which is the sin tan ad rule. So, itong sin tan ad rule, sinasabi nyo to, na yung sign ng mapipili nating uh, middle part is equal to the product of the tangent ng kanyang adjacent part. So, pili tayo, let's say, uh, C complement. So, ang ititake natin yan as the middle part, ang kanyang adjacent part ay B complement and the A complement. So, kung kanina, yung opposite parts dito, yung kanyang adjacent parts is yung kanyang katabi. So, applying the sin tan ad rule, we have the sine yung napili nating middle part, which is the C complement, is equal to the product of the tangent of the adjacent parts, which is the A complement and the B complement. Now, let's try, uh, let's, uh, take another middle part, say yung B. So, kung ititake natin yung B as the middle part, kanyang adjacent part, of course, is the A complement and the A. So, uh, applying yung sintan ad rule, we have the sign ng middle part na B is equal to the product ng tangent ng na, yung kanyang adjacent parts, which is the A, and then the A complement. So that's it. So kahit alin dyan sa circle, sa neighbor circle, so pili lang kayo dyan kahit alin dyan. As long as you know the adjacent part and the opposite parts, you can do the neighbor's rule, the sin co cos of and the sin tan ad. So if you like, if you want to request, just comment down below. Thank you.